morning, dawn chorus. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. We've got three herons there. There's a heron there. And then there's another heron on the bank. Herons everywhere. Okay, we're just out practicing the uh, weight and stand, which is something we have not really worked on. We've done a tiny little bit of it when it's doing his food, haven't done it for months. And it's get him out of the habit of when I say weight, he actually sits as well. Okay, so I'll try and get it to do it now. It's gonna be quite stern. Weight, stand. Ah! So this is the problem. I'll go and physically pick him up. Stand. Good boy. Ah! No. Stand and wait. Good boy. Good boy. So I tried to start to shorten the distance. Okay. Good boy. Bruce, stand, wait. Ah! No, no, you naughty boy. Stand. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Come here then. Good boy. Stand. Wait. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Good boy, Bruce. Good boy. Stand. Wait. Good boy. Good boy. What a good boy. Perfect. So it's taken a lot of work. Been doing it for the last 30 minutes pretty much. Bruce. Okay. Good boy. Bruce, stand. Good boy, wait. Good boy. Oh, what a good boy. Okay, uh, oh, okay, come on in, good boy. Okay. He almost sat down there. Good boy, so it's such a habit though, when I say wait for him sitting down. Bruce, stand. Good boy, good boy. What a good boy! <laughs> so I think the I think the weight command and the stand is he mixed up if you do both. I think if you just do stand. Okay, we'll try it again. I'll disprove myself here when he misbehaves. I'll let him walk a little bit longer. Good boy! Bruce, stand. Ah, 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 ah. See, disprove myself. Knew I would. Naughty boy. Stand. Stand. Good boy. Good boy. Bruce, okay. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Bruce, stand. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It's there. Well, as you can see, we're getting there. Stand to him now means just stay still and stand. Um, with a couple of times where it's not, not working, but on the whole, it's pretty good. So I'm going to reinforce this now over and over and over and over for the next few weeks. Keep on it, and that should be a good command. Saves him sitting, especially... Naughty boy! Bruce! So it's important you go back up and put the effort in, as far as I can see with these. So stubborn. Naughty boy. Stand. Good boy! So, if they move forward an inch, you take them back. And keep doing it over and over and over and again. It's good exercise. But anyway, so I'm going to keep reinforcing this for the next few weeks and hopefully the stand will work. And I say it's going to be quite useful. If it's really, really muddy and you don't want him to sit down, then you get to stand instead. He doesn't like it that much though. <laughs> He'll learn to love it. <laughs> <Stay there. laughs> he loves it. Little rats. And here we are, we're out in the woods. Oh, we smelt something there. Something very interesting there for him. There's a lot of sniffing around now. 
uh, mount the wheel. Come on, Brucey. Bruce, leave. Good boy. Seems to work. It's fairly, uh, fairly solid command, that one. The leave, he seems to do it. Whoa, it's a fence there. Huh, might have to ride over it. Um, so he does seem to listen to that one. Anyway, he's doing really, really well. We're on the... Uh... Whoa, wait, sit. He does take his time. Bruce, sit. Good boy. Sometimes, to reinforce it, if I say Bruce like that, he uh, he does listen then. But if you don't say, he's like, nah, you can't possibly be talking to me. But, nah, he's going well so far. I'm going to do a cut through. Doing a bit of trail running, but today is 25 degrees. So we've come into the woods to, uh, if I can actually get on this thing, we've come into the woods because hopefully it's a bit cooler in the woods. He hasn't been out at all. It's now 4.30 in the afternoon, so it's a bit later. Bruce, are you doing okay? Yeah, you are. You're a really good boy, aren't you? I'm going to go this way. I mean, we live in an amazing part of the country. It's just... <laughs> It's almost like Alaska, but not so vast because it's just how it's populated. And here he comes. Boom. Doesn't seem to be bothered by the heat at all. But it's the hottest day I've ever owned him because it's 20, I think it is. I think officially it would be about 25, 26 degrees. So uh, see. Yeah. One thing I noticed is that if he hears something in the, the woods over there running, his ears pick up, he knows it's something. He's not trying to chase it, but what he does, he does pick up speed running in the same direction, he doesn't dart off. He, just, he picks up a little bit of speed, sort of gets in his head that he's got to be running. <laughs> not actually chasing it, just, just increases his speed and run it. Ugh, my goodness. Very, very bumpy, and uh, quite difficult to balance on this. Oh, we got some slowly drying out. But this is, this is literally the first hot day we've had. It was quite cool yesterday. I can hear the crickets going, grasshoppers. So what is on the cards? Because he does all the uh, commands that you've seen previously. If you watch all the episodes, if you haven't, go back and watch them. But he'll do, Bruce, wait, sit. And he almost sits automatically now, which I kind of like and kind of don't like. Certain situations, it's quite nice to have him sit um, automatically. I'm gonna have to carry the wheel now. Um, and sometimes it isn't, because sometimes I actually want him to stand. Um, he will do the stand command. Um, so he'll do that. He'll do the lie down, pretty much. Yeah, everything. It's like, where do you go now? And I think I want to teach him left and right, so I can shout out a left or a right when we're in a distance. I'd be coming up to a fork now. Uh, it'd be nice if he's in the distance to let him go in a distance and shout left or right. Um, and I suppose there's a sled. I need to get a sled in for winter with wheels on it because we've got loads of trails. It'd be good to get him on that and agility training. So I think that's where we're going to go with him next is do those two things. He gets low. I mean, he's with me the whole time. You know, he's a real buddy and we've been together now for, he was a year old, uh, a year old, a uh, one week ago. Uh, I got him at eight weeks. So yeah, get, getting on for a year companion uh, a l brilliant brilliant dog i'm so glad they got him but there's a lot of people that have asked you know can't believe he's off lead and all this sort of business i mean we've literally i haven't got a lead the good wife amy has has got it in her car so we've come out and we are leadless now if we met another dog um probably he would go and sniff it and probably ignore my initial shouts and be a bit stubborn about coming back but he would do eventually or if he didn't i would have to go and get him it doesn't do anything might try and hunt them a little bit maybe or just sniffs them and whines a little bit and likes their attention um so he's had a bit but they, i mean look he's he's so good okay he's just such a good boy now okay has released him now from whoa has released him from any any command i've put him under that's how i've done it um I, I could, what I do, if he's running towards, as I say, okay, and he runs towards me, as he's coming towards me, if I want to actually stay by me, I'm going, whoa, and put my hand out, and he'll slow down, I'll demonstrate, I meant, Bruce, wait, sit. Good boy. I'm going to demonstrate that now. So this is what I've done. I actually need to get back over there. 
<laughs> I'm on the wrong trail here. I'll work it out in a minute. Let's do this first. Right, so he's all the way over there. He'd be real keen to run on by. Now he will run on by like he did just a second ago, as you've seen that already. Okay. So now he's just flat out. He's released from always coming, unless he goes off and sniffs something, which he can do sometimes. Oh, this should work out. Oh, Bruce, whoa. Good boy, sit. And so obviously it's right next to me. Good boy, good boy. Um, the other thing is I haven't done is he's had he's had no no treat training at all. I've intentionally done that because you don't always have treats on you. So unless you get to have it actually carrying around all the time, which people do, I just wanted to try and do it without that. If I'm honest, I just fancy doing it without bribing him. I'm trying to use my appreciation as his treat. That sort of real basic level. And, you know, it's not always gonna work. I mean, he's now 100 meters, I reckon. Okay. Head down, flying along. Um, so yeah, there's no treat. Now, I'm, I'm pretty confident. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm pretty confident that with agility, that is gonna have to change. I'm not gonna be able to get him to do the, the fine movement unless I've got some sort of uh, bribe. I'm kind of half thinking that, you know, he will get to know that's when he goes to that field to do agility. That is where he gets treats and that's where he works. And then outside of that, he doesn't get treats and he still works as hard. So uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna go with that, hopefully. <laughs> he loves it. 